combinations of N-butane. In the present animation, a space-filling model of N-butane molecule is shown. It is a hydrocarbon having molecular formula. It has three carbon-carbon atom bonds. In N-butane, if we consider the rotation about the single bond between two inner carbon atoms, carbon-2 and carbon-3, we get some interesting results. We find that the Newman projection of N-butane conformation having carbon-2, carbon-3 dihedral angle of 180 degrees will have the least energy, as in this conformation both the methyl groups are far distant apart and thus have least repulsion and maximum stability. We refer to this conformation as anti-conformation. On rotating the conformation by 60 degrees, we obtain the conformation known as eclipsed conformation. In this conformation, the methyl groups are closer to one another, and thus it has higher energy than staggered conformation. On further rotating the conformation by 60 degrees, we obtain the conformation known as staggered conformation. It is more stable than the previous conformations, but it has higher energy than the previous staggered conformation, but still it is more stable than the eclipsed conformation. We call this conformation as Gauche conformation. On rotating further by 60 degrees, we get a conformation in which the methyl groups are at closest distance, and this gives a conformation which is least stable. This conformation is known as sine conformation, and sine conformation is least stable. Another 60 degree rotation gives back the Gauche conformation. Another 60 degree rotation gives the eclipsed conformation in which the methyl groups are at carbon close to each other, and this conformation is less stable, but still it is more stable than the sine conformation. Finally, on further rotating the carbon-2, carbon-3 bond angle by 60 degrees, a staggered conformation of N-butane is obtained, in which methyl groups are at dihedral angle of 180 degrees, and it is very stable.